Welcome back, everybody. As you know, due to the pandemic, the release of a lot of big Hollywood movies has been delayed. In fact, we even had to delay the release of a segment I shot six months ago about the delayed release of big Hollywood movies. And thankfully, I can finally show it to you now. Here's a conversation I had a few months ago with my dear old friend, Steve Carell. We're here with our friend, Steve Carell. Steve, thanks so much for being here tonight. Yeah, whatever. Okay. You know, Steve, you always have so many projects going at the same time. You're such a busy man. But, you know, unfortunately, so many projects are being delayed right now. And even films that are shot aren't being released because there are no theaters open. Yeah, it's a tricky situation. Well said. Now, you and I... I realize I didn't ask you a question. I just left a space in the sentence for you to fill in. So I don't blame you. For, I don't blame you for being slightly taciturn in your response. That's on me. That's on me. You know what? But you know what? I think I'm playing the character of, hey, I'm going to be the guest who's not going to help him out. <laughs> now, here's the thing. All these movies are being pushed, you know, and they're not being released. And, and some people may never see these movies. They may never be released, including, my understanding is, all the movies that you and I made in the last year. Oh, right, yeah. And we yeah. have a lot. So many. I forgot, A, I forgot that we made them. I know. But they and, were fun to work on with you. I always oh, liked working with you. I remember that part. I remember enjoying doing them, but I don't remember what they were, what they were called, who right. we played, or what the plot was. <clears throat> yeah, it's all a blur. Thankfully, my graphics department made up posters for all of these movies that neither you and I can remember, and we're going to try to remember the movies now by looking at the posters. Are you prepared to do this? Yeah, this will be a nice trip down memory lane. Well, good, because this is maybe coming soon. Welcome to Maybe Coming Soon, where Steve and I will look at movie posters for movies that we made that we can't remember and try to remember. Jim, let's take a look at the first poster. What do we got here? What did Steve and I do? <laughs> the Dracula pill. This drug I, could unleash your brain's potential. Oh my God. To be Dracula. I fought, I fought so hard for first billing on this. Yeah. You remember we went back and forth. Was right. it going to be Dracula pill, Colbert, Carell, or was it going to be Carell, Colbert? Was it like... Was my name going to be first but lower, and your name was going to be second but higher? And <clears throat> I thank you so much for for acquiescing on that. Uh, well, you're welcome. You know, I, I, uh, we each gave up something. You know, we each gave up something. You, I remember you wanted your name to be in that drippy blood font from the monsters, and I said, no, but I'm Dracula. Why would you get the drippy blood font? Yeah. Well, and you you were the title character. Sure, so I am. That. Roger Pill. <laughs> well, let's let's just break down the premise itself. Um, I, as a scientist, I developed this enormous pill that I'm going to use as a suppository to turn people into vampires. Yes. Um, so I meet you j just at the health club one day. Right. Hello, my name's <laughs> Roger Pill. Right. <laughs> I'm on the squat machine. <laughs> right which struck my character um as handy what's that as handy <laughs> jim oh that bionic eye that thing was <laughs> that thing was the death of me <laughs> a nightmare how many hours oh. little women end game how many hours in the makeup chair every day oh that was like 16 hours a day of makeup. They had actually fold my, uh, my actual eyeball uh, to the side so they could find a recess within my eye socket to put that light unit. Yeah, why because, not do it? I got to say, why not just do it digitally? Well, right. I, I think that yeah. might have been easier on me, but the producers, and I was a producer, so I, I could have said something. But you, 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 no one could hear, understand a damn word you were saying over the screaming. Because it was just uh, horrible to look at. Horrible process to look at. And on a, on a certain level, I'm glad this one's not coming out. Yeah. Sad. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, Laura, Dern was, Laura Dern was great in this, too. Uh, she was good. She played, uh, she played um, 
Mustafa. Marmy. What? Mar? Huh? There, what you were gonna say? Marmy. Yes. Jim. Oh man. I am dying for this one to come out. Me too. This one, ah, this one I remember really well. Remember that? Remember what? Yes. When? Okay. The, when okay. That, you. When that, go ahead. No. Please. That, that shark, shark. That shark. I remember. So funny. He, he, he smelled. He smelled so bad. <laughs> You're, you're like, I'm going to grab the front of the shark. Like, okay, you, you smell that shark's breath. And the right. shark, the shark I was mean, so shark bad breath. And I was like, why can't somebody wash this shark before we shoot? And they're like, it lives in water. It's always being washed. It's going to smell no matter what we do. <laughs> oh, oh God. And we just, and trying to get the shark oh. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way up to Chicago for the, you know. For the concert. For the big concert. <laughs> That was, I mean, it's that, oh. that this whole thing was such a joy. Oh, um, and, and, you know, sometimes you're asked to learn things for like a movie or project. Like, you know, uh, you know, Keanu Reeves had to learn Kung Fu for, uh, for the Matrix movies. Yeah. You know, and you and I both had to learn um, how to tag great white sharks. I, and I'll never forget it. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Oh. And, and Joseph, who originally taught us how to do it. Yeah, he will be missed. He, wa he was a wonderful man. Um, and I. You and I he really hit it off. You got the two of you. I was a little jealous how the two of you hit it off. Well, I wish we hadn't because then when we lost him, it was that much more painful. I wish I'd sort of kept my distance. So I do that and yeah. I, now I don't, I don't get close to people, especially if they're doing something dangerous. With sharks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just... You know, and I'm not going to win any friends for saying this. I'm Obviously, people are like, I might get some blowback for saying this, but I think he, on a certain level, had it coming. Like, he was asking for it. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes in, he goes into the shark tank, and we're like, take off your lucky ham. And he's like, <laughs> hey. yeah, no, no. It's always, it's well, always been good for me before. Yeah, he cared about that ham too much, and at the expense of his life. Yeah. But dedicated. This movie's dedicated to him. Well, that was actually taken off at the end. Oh, really? We didn't. Well, because it's so it, the movie's so much fun, and right. the it's just the hijinks and the, right. it's such a yes, farce yes. that we right. didn't want to end with right. that because we thought. What about what about just like instead of like like. No animals were harmed in the making of this movie, but a lot of people. What if there was something, something simple yeah. like that? Uh, well, Steve, a, a, a joy. Listen, we gotta. I, I, if I'll see you at all of these premieres, if any of them come out. I, I cannot. I can't. I can't wait for Aquarium High. So you might have to. You might have to. Oh, that's yeah. A good yeah, we're being sued by Joe's family. Just, <laughs> and they got a good case. They got a damn, yeah. damn good case. Steve, peace, my brother. You too. Take care. Thank you, Steve Carell. We'll be right back with a performance by Sarah Bareilles.